from the front. We want to understand the fast changing world. We want to be the place that produces entrepreneurs and future leaders. We want to produce executives who stay ahead of the changes. Industrial tour uh, is in fact a very significant uh, component of the course curriculum of MBA. Uh, the purpose of uh, such industrial tours is to expose the students to the real life business situations. In fact, uh, such tours uh, help the students to develop a linkage between the theoretical concepts, the principles of business that we teach uh, in the classroom with the practices of business, the practicalities of business. Uh, industrial tours also help the students not only to visit the companies across the, uh, across the nation, across the country, but also help them, uh, provide them with an opportunity of interacting with the corporate gurus, with the corporate executives. During this tour, we uh, visited almost eight companies uh, wherein the students of MBA first semester had interactions with uh, uh, chief executives of the organizations uh, and then the HR professionals and at uh, the organizations, the students also interacted with the floor managers. Uh, the only purpose of this industrial tour was to expose the students. The way we interacted with the managers behind the scenes and it actually you know, uh, gave us that exposure that we needed uh, being used to the theory classes in your classrooms and then being you know, uh, subject to something that's real as in uh, practical and then uh, that's the difference that actually it created and then you are exposed to the actual industrial environment. We people know that whatever we study in our classrooms, we don't know what are the implications, but that tour made us realize how industry actually works. What are the basic implications of the theories, models, and other things that we usually study in our classrooms. The environment of work and everything was so different. It was a completely different exposure for all of us. We saw how the managers work or how these companies work and what was their uh, work, working cycle and what was their production cycle and what were the strategies they were implementing in order to overcome their competitors. So it was a whole in nutshell we learned what whole the in short what the business and how the business is done and how can you learn to compete in the current competing market. People coming from different backgrounds uh, different cultures, different countries, different regions and then working together creating an uh, environment that is uh, very much uh, beneficial to every individual in the organization. So getting exposed to that uh, diversification of thoughts uh, is um, I guess the most valuable thing uh, I experienced uh, in this industrial tour. It uh, also brought about the various personality changes in the students by the long uh, distance group travels and we also got to know about the various startups, various different ideas of startups that uh, people had. As I'm going to specialize in HR, I had some fine interaction with top HRs, particularly that of, with that of uh, Cox Solution Group. Uh, their HR head and I discussed with him a lot of things that I needed to know in order to excel in my field. We got actually got to know how things work in an organization. So he was, uh, the person that we met there was a Kashmiri, Mr. Sophie. So and the interaction with him was so fruitful and we got to learn a lot. He uh, told us some really great stories that inspired me uh, personally a lot. To get the sneak peek of Indian Industries on 7th February the next stop for the group was CII Secretariat. After being warmly received by the chairman, Dr. Dinesh Dua, along with his senior associates, a short introductory speech and significance of CII for Indian industries was deliberated by the chairman. CII, as uh, boys and girls you must be aware, is a non-government, not-for-profit industry-led and industry-managed organization. It plays a very proactive role in India's developmental process, particularly in the industry. Founded in 1895, India's premier business association has over 8,000 members, which are direct members. All the names, whether big, small, the tiny, majority of them are members of uh, CI, CII. And indirectly, our membership goes to an astounding number of 200,000, 2 lakh members from around 240 national, regional, sectoral industry bodies and with a few, close to about 10 international offices as well. CII Chandigarh Council charts the chain by working very closely, as I said, with Chandigarh administration on policy issues, on skill development to promote the startups, which should be very close to your heart. The chairman 
assured that he would write to all CII member companies to accommodate the business students of our university for internship and final placements purely on the basis of merit. I would like to inform the August gathering that we normally get experts from IIM, IIM Lucknow, IIM Ahmedabad for the TD and PI. And uh, the experts have been surprised with the performance of the students and they wish, they, they, they were asking us why these students are not in IIMs given the potential of the students. So sir, this is the lot which we have got selected from the experts from abroad. The Department of Management Studies, uh, Central University of Kashmir, where I am working as a teacher, my primary responsibility is discussing things, theory with the students. But uh, this uh, training and placement is my additional responsibility given by the Honorable Vice Chancellor. To get the insights of new entrepreneurial challenges, on 8th of February, the group visited Net Solutions, a software giant headed by a young scientist, Mr. Samir Jain. The session was kick-started by the founder by sharing his inspiring entrepreneurial journey. The introductory speech by the founder ignited the entrepreneurial spark among the students. And during the session, various creative ideas were pooled and brainstormed upon. One of the premier aim of the industrial tour was to acquaint the students about how corporates blend tradition and modernism. To impart this, next location to stop by was Vardaman Textiles. The one of the oldest factory of our country. We, there we got an opportunity that uh, how Vardaman company, uh, how Vardaman industry works, what are their, um, how they recruit new employees there, and what was their uh, work culture, and uh, from where they got their uh, raw materials, what they produce, uh, what are their future strategies, in which fields they are expanding their businesses, and. Uh, and more importantly, we got a chance to uh, have an interaction with Vardaman industry. The delegation also had an interaction session with Ms. Deepika HR Vardaman Group. On 9th February, one of the most inspiring story of the whole visit took its shape at Amazon. The students were jubilant to find Mr. Kamran Khan, the alumni of the university, as the head of facility. It was a very good experience with the uh, staff uh, behind the scenes. Uh, they really help, uh, helped us and we, uh, we felt the, how things work in the corporate world. His clarity of thoughts and confidence defined how a student is groomed into a leader by the faculty at Central University of Kashmir. I personally uh, liked my visit to the uh, Godej industry. I saw there the production line and the assembly line of the manufacturing of the refrigerators and the washing machines. Being an MBA aspirant who wants uh, the MBA to be done in the operations management, I personally felt it very fruitful for me. We had an interaction with the plant officials around there, which gave us a precise insight about the production, operation, working environment, and how managerial perspectives are put into function. Apart from covering major management functions, the students were also appraised on how companies stay competitive. On the same day, the delegation visited Hindustan Times office, where they interacted with HR Ms. Poonam. The students were also given insights about how newspapers are published. We happened to uh, visit one of the leading and the oldest uh, Indian English newspaper. Uh, the Hindustan Times. Uh, we got to meet um, the HR for the North over there. Uh, she made us visit the publishing uh, area where they publish their uh, uh, newspapers and they print their newspapers. She uh, gave us uh, an overview about how they are uh, working now as of these apps and all are uh, like um, flourishing so much. 